Farms cover more than 2,800 acres of land across Mesa County, and a late spring freeze can be devastating. The Talbot family has worked, has worked, their, has worked their land in Palisade for generations. Bruce Talbot showed me, how, showed me why his family has changed the way they fight spring freeze. Spring frost is our biggest natural challenge, and it is the risk factor that uh, is, if anything's going to take us out, that's most likely to do it. Agriculture is an important part of the western slope, and generational farmers like Bruce Talbot are sourcing every option to make sure it doesn't end up like 2020. In 2020, we ended up with 15% of a final crop, so we lost 85% of the crop. With loss comes lessons. A lot of us have gained a little more appreciation for water under the tree. That seems to have been, along with wind machines, the most effective combination. While some local orchards, like this one in Olathe, still use the time-honored tradition of lighting smudge pots through the deep of the night to save crops, the ones that used to dot Palisade orchards are gone. Talbot says paying people to light them and people stealing the gasoline used to fuel them simply made a tradition that was too expensive to maintain. The sound of a wind machine. This is now the most important tool even for multi-generational farmers like Talbot to fight climate change issues. Which are just fans on the top of a tower and that fan uh, rotates uh, slowly so it blows all directions. The wind machine pulls the air from up above and blows it down to push the colder air out from the orchards, keeping the buds moist. So the movement keeps them more at ambient temperature. Another source farmers have resorted to is water sprinklers. As the water freezes, uh, generate heat, they keep the ground at uh, 32 degrees. From peaches to grapes, ag life is important to the Western Slope and farmers are doing everything to make sure it stays alive.